Welcome to JSTOR Revealed. For historians and other humanities scholars, JSTOR is a much used resource with 12 million academic journal articles, books, and primary sources in 75 disciplines. This is the JSTOR search homepage, and you can enter text in the search box just as you would for any search engine. I like to start with advanced search because it gives me a few more options. I'm going to search for women labor force or working women and Nazi Germany or Third Reich. The all fields search will find the search words or phrases anywhere in the text, title, abstract, subject headings, etc. of the document. You can limit to search specific fields, but that will significantly narrow your results. Also, there's a caveat for the abstract search. Only about 10% of the items in JSTOR have an abstract, so by using that search, you would probably miss some really good sources. I could submit the search now, but I'm going to add some limiters. I want just articles and books, and just English language items. I could narrow the date range, but I'm going to leave that for when I submit the search, you see that the search yielded over a thousand results. As I scroll through the list and see the titles, some look interesting and some don't seem relevant. I want to look at women, class, and mobilization in Nazi Germany, so I click on the download the PDF button. And I accept the terms and conditions. I would do an initial read of the first page or so to determine if the article warrants a full read. One thing to remember when you find a source that is relevant to your research is to always look through the footnotes or bibliography. In this case, footnote 1 has some interesting items. The format of the citation indicates whether the source is an article, book, book chapter, etc. Stevenson's Women in Nazi Society, which I can tell is a book from the citation format that includes a publishing location and doesn't list a journal name or volume in issue numbers, might be worth looking at. Book citations may also include a publisher name. Moving to the library homepage and selecting the Books tab to search the catalog, I enter the book title and discover that we happen to have a print copy in the library. Returning to the article, Mason's Women in Germany, 1925 to 1940, is actually two articles in the Journal of Socialist Historians, one published in spring 1976 and the other in autumn of the same year. Note that the volume is identified before the date, another clue that it's a journal article. The next citation by Kuntz is a book chapter. I know this because the citation includes in and it's in Bredenthal and Kuntz's book, Becoming Visible, Women in European History. Returning to the JSTOR search, I also want to point out the citation feature. This feature is available in many databases. When I click on the Cite This Item button, I'm given the article citation in three different formats, MLA, APA, and Chicago. Please note the Chicago format is in the Notes Bib style. I can also export the citation to several different citation or bibliographic management tools like the three that the USF libraries support, EndNote, Zotero, and Mendeley. That concludes our introduction to JSTOR. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask a librarian.